Now to outrage of another kind, this time about the number of people allowed at the memorial service held yesterday for Ambassador Anthony Johnson. People took to social media between yesterday and today highlighting that more than 15 individuals were in attendance, including the Prime Minister and senior members of the government. The service was held at the St. Augustine's Chapel at Ambassador Johnson's alma mater, Kingston College. In response to the outrage, Press Secretary in the office of the Prime Minister, Naomi Francis, tweeted that the service was not a double standard on the part Part of the government. She said it was not a funeral, the body was not at the church, 30 persons were allowed in the church and that the burial will be at a later date with only 15 persons. Outrage. Ambassador Johnson, uh, Ambassador Johnson was remembered by a host of people including his daughter, Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith, who shared fond memories of her father. He taught at Jamal. He taught in the evenings at Jamal for some time when the program was new. He always believed that literacy and education were critical enablers, and he was a teacher in heart and hand. The fact that he could not afford to go to UE, and there was no student loan bureau at that time. After Casey, he went straight into work as a journalist, through which he was one of two Jamaicans selected to win an Inter-American Press Association scholarship. This took him to UCLA for his bachelor's, on which he built to also do his master's, working as a research assistant at the university and in various part-time jobs to put himself through. This was in the early 60s in the US, so there were not very many opportunities for young black men.